LC circuit and working. We know that a capacitor and an inductor can store electrical and magnetic energy, respectively. When a capacitor, initially charged, is connected to an inductor, the charge on the capacitor and the current in the circuit exhibit the phenomenon of electrical oscillations similar to oscillations in mechanical systems. Let a capacitor be charged Qm at t is equal to zero and connected to an inductor. The moment the circuit is completed, the charge on the capacitor starts decreasing, giving rise to current in the circuit. Let Q and I be the charge and current in the circuit at the same time T. Since dI by dt is positive, the induced EMF in L will have polarity as shown. That is, VB is less than VA. According to Kirchhoff's loop rule, Q by C minus L into dI by dt is equal to zero. This is the first equation. However, in the present case, as Q decreases, I increases. Therefore, I is equal to minus dQ by dt. Therefore, the first equation can be written as d square Q by dt square plus Q by LC is equal to zero. This is the second equation, as this equation is similar to the equation for a simple harmonic oscillator. d square X by dt square plus omega naught square x is equal to zero. The charge on the capacitor therefore oscillates with a natural frequency. Omega naught is equal to one by root LC. This is the third equation. This is the frequency of an LC circuit. Q is equal to QM cos into omega naught T plus pi where Qm is the maximum value of Q and pi is a phase constant. At t is equal to zero, since Q is equal to Qm, we have cos pi is equal to one or pi is equal to zero. Then Q is equal to Qm cos into omega naught t. This is the fourth equation. As current I is equal to minus dQ by dt, and I is equal to I m cos into omega naught t. I m is equal to omega naught q m. Magnetic energy and electric energy. When a capacitor with initial charge q m is connected to an ideal inductor, the electric energy stored in the capacitor, u e is equal to one by two q square m by c. Since there is no current in the circuit, energy in the inductor is zero. Thus, the total energy of LC circuit is U is equal to UE is equal to Q square M by ZC. At T is equal to zero, the switch is closed and the capacitor starts to discharge. Change of magnetic and electric energy. As the current increases, it sets up a magnetic field in the inductor and thereby some energy gets stored in the inductor in the form of magnetic energy. UB is equal to one by two Li square. As the current reaches its maximum value, Im, and at T is equal to T by four, all the energy is stored in the magnetic field. UB is equal to one by two L I M square. Also, the maximum electrical energy equals the maximum magnetic energy. As a result, the capacitor now has no charge and hence no energy. Therefore, its energy is zero. Now the current flow charges the capacitor, but it is charged with the opposite polarity. The whole process will now repeat itself till the system reverts to its original state the same way that the energy in the system oscillates between kinetic and potential energies, the oscillating spring will oscillate in the form of electromagnetic energy between the capacitor and inducer. Analogy of LC oscillations and mechanical oscillations. The LC oscillation is similar to the mechanical oscillation of a block attached to a spring. For a block of a mass m oscillating with frequency omega naught, the equation is d square x by dt square plus omega naught square x is equal to zero. Here, 
omega naught is equal to root over k by m. As k is the spring constant, x corresponds to q. In case of a mechanical system f is equal to ma is equal to m, dv by dt is equal to m into d square x by dt square. For an electrical system, sigma is equal to minus L into di by dt is equal to minus L into d square q by dt square. Comparing these two equations, we see that N is analogous to mass M. L is a measure of resistance to change in current. In case of LC circuit, omega naught is equal to 1 by root over LC. And as omega naught is equal to root over k by m, 1 by c is analogous to k. The constant k is equal to f by x tells us the external force required to produce a unit displacement, whereas 1 by c is equal to v by q tells us the potential difference required to store a unit charge. Mechanical system Mass m Force constant K. Displacement X. Speed or velocity V is equal to dx by dt. Mechanical energy. E is equal to 1 by 2 kx square plus 1 by 2 mv square. LC oscillation system. Inductance L. Reciprocal capacitance 1 by C. Charge Q. Current I is equal to dQ by dt, electromagnetic energy. U is equal to 1 by 2 Q square by C plus 1 by 2 Li square. Every inductor has some resistance. The effect of this resistance is to introduce a damping effect on the charge and current in the circuit. Even if the resistance were zero, the total energy of the system would not remain constant. It is radiated away from the system in the form of electromagnetic waves. In fact, radio and TV transmitters depend on this radiation. 